are very welcome to Ray and O'Shea Fitness 15. It is great to have you, of course. It is very important to stay fit and healthy, especially these days. And we are determined to help you from the comfort of your own living room. And here to tell us how we have happy fitness guy, Ray Lally. Ray, great to have you. Oh, thanks very much. So we have 15 minutes to do this. Yep. No pressure at all. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Okay, what yep. is the theme of today? Just get the body moving. Just get that body moving and it's going to be great for us. Mm. Do we need any equipment or anything like that? Uh, today, we, all we need is a couch and a cushion so we all have it at home, so no excuses again. Mm. So what is the first workout about then? The first workout is just about warming up the body and like defrosting the body, which is obviously great for everyone. And the beauty is, like, if you're 7 or 70, anyone can do this. So it's really beneficial for everybody. Okay, let's get moving. Hi guys, so we're just going to get started by getting moving. That's all we're doing. So everyone at home, including you, are going to come up off the couch and just get moving. So all we're doing is a simple march like this. So what we're going to do is go for 30 reps. So a rep is just the amount of times you do something. So if you ever have like a physio or a trainer, like that saying you have to do 10 reps or something, it's just 10 times the amount of the exercise. It's as simple as that. So all we're doing is marching. Nice and simple, so you're up off the seat, just moving as much or as easy as you can. Again, we're gonna to try to get the elbows in front of the ribs and behind the ribs. Just simple like that, and try to get those knees up like that. So again, it's just a nice, simple march, like that, easy peasy. So again, a lot of the blood is in the lower part of the body. We're just trying to warm everything up, trying to defrost the body. Nice and easy like that. So from there, we're gonna bring the blood to the upper part of the body. So now, we're gonna rest, have our feet a little wider, balancing through the heels, pushing those hips back a little bit, and we're just punching from side to side like that. Like that, and again, we're just twisting. So you'll see my chest is going from side to side. And again, it's like you're just reaching for something. You don't actually have to punch anyone. Like that, and you're just punching from side to side. Nice and easy. Well done, guys. So you're going as fast as you want. So if I'm going a little bit faster than you, don't worry about that. That's not important. You don't have to keep up to my tempo. You just move as much as you can. Well done, well done. So again, we're just trying to get the blood flowing, getting us warmed up. Or if you're feeling stiff and you're watching TV, you're just trying to defrost the body, really. That's what we're kind of try trying to do. Well done, guys. So the last one then, we're just going to try and swing those legs. So we're going to stand next to a chair or a table or a wall, anything that you can balance off, and you're just swinging like that. So just up and down like that. So again, I'm just swinging one leg. That's all we're doing. I'm going to go for 10 like this. And again, we're just swinging like that, trying to stand tall, trying to get your stomach tensed. So that's engaging your core, that's what that's called. We're trying to just try and tense that stomach, standing up tall. From then, we're gonna try to swap the legs. So if you're only going up a small bit like that, that's perfect. Keep that going, awesome. Like you don't have to up like that or anything like this. We're not training for the Olympics, we're just trying to get going. Well done, guys. Excellent, nice, easy movements like that. Just swinging from side to side. Again, always feel comfortable. Always standing next to a table or a chair, just so you're nice and balanced. And again, going back to the other side again. Well done, guys. So all we're doing here is getting the body ready for the rest of the workout. We're getting up off the couch for the first time today, and we're just getting moving. So everything is nice and slow paced, easy for everyone. Well done, guys. Excellent. So what we did there, you should be feeling a little bit looser feeling a bit more blood around the body like that. Nice and easy, so we can get ready for the next workout. Well done, guys. Easy peasy. Well done. Awesome. Ray, that's a really nice way to get the body all warmed up. Exactly. So if you're feeling stiff, it's a great way to get the blood around the body, but simply it's the great way to get the body warmed up and get yourself moving like that. So. In that as well, if you're a little bit short of breath, that's all right. If you saw me doing it, I had a bit of a sweat going mm -hmm. on. So it is that's a bit of fun. That's natural. It is natural. <laughs> so don't worry about that. If you are a bit of short of breath, that's, that's you, completely you normal. You also mentioned you're not training for the Olympics. 100%. Mm -hmm. So even if I'm doing, just say, 10 reps, but you feel comfortable doing five or eight reps, do what you feel comfortable, because that's more important. Right, Ray. Work out every though. Yes. So we're going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to target hitting the muscles for muscle strength. So the next one is actually slower the better. Okay, right, let's get moving again. Hi guys, so the next workout is great. We just get to sit down for all three exercises. So great news. So the first one is really important, probably the most important exercise of the day. It's just standing up from a chair, as simple as that. So we're gonna stand up 10 times, our 10 reps, as I said earlier. So we're gonna push through the heels. That's very important because most of us push through the balls of our feet. So 
pushing through the heels. Again, you can use a bit of momentum. Use your hands anywhere you want, pushing off the side of the chair and just standing up like that. Now, a very important part is coming down slowly. So put your hands out or put your hands back just so you feel safe. Push those hips right back up. And you're standing up again. And where you want to feel the stretch is where your bum meets your hamstring, that little shelf that we have. And you're coming back that way. And from here, you'll probably end up falling. That's fine. We're going to work on that. So again, you're pushing up from here, up like that. And slowly, slowly, slowly down. Excellent, guys. And we're standing back up. So you're going to feel this on the front of the legs, which are called the quads or the thighs. And hands back down. And all the way down, we'll also feel it on the back of the legs. So we're going to feel it in the bum and the back of the legs, which is the hamstring, just right here. So nice and slow like that. Really important, guys. Excellent. Well done. So the next one, we get to stay sitting down, up for the upper body, and we're just going to hold our hands out like that and just holding it for 10 seconds. Well done. So we're going to hit a bit for the shoulders here. A bit of muscle endurance is great. And three, two, one, putting our hands up like that. And up for five. Well done. Two. Now we're not holding any weights, but you'll still see that your shoulders and arms do get tired quite quickly. So we're going to do a second set. So we're out straight out again. We're going to keep that going. We're going to go for 10 seconds or as long as you can hold it. Don't worry. I'm feeling it already. And back up and five shoulder press again. Well done, guys. Again, no weights needed. No weight no unnecessary completely. Just keep working like that, guys. Again, you can do this throughout the day, any times of the day. Like that. And last one. Excellent. So the last one we're going to do is for the stomach. So we're going to get a cushion, and you're going to put that down there. And that's just really a target. We're going to hold back on the chair. We're going to bring our ankles together like this, and just slowly going over and resting. Over and resting, just like that. As we're going up, you'll feel this in the stomach right here. It's a bit of a tough one, so just doing as many as you can. We're going to try to do a good few here, about 10 each side. I'm coming over and back like that, but it's nice and slow. The slower, the better. You'll feel it also a little bit in the hips, but we also really want to activate the stomach here, which are called the abs. Everything done slowly. All these exercises, all three of them done as slowly as possible. Well done, guys. So you're never short of breath. We just get those muscles going. Well done. Excellent. And last one. Brilliant, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. Brilliant stuff. And we're done. Awesome work again. Great work. Love that. Well done. Ray, even though you were sitting down and going slow, it was very effective, was it? Yes, very much so. So in that one, the slower the better because you have more tension on the muscles. Uh, but basically, your muscles are working that much harder rather than going fast. Mm -hmm. So you won't be short of breath, which is great, but it will be more effective on the muscles. Now, the first exercise I did, you'll feel it on the front of the legs. Mm -hmm. The quads is called, just your thighs, mm -hmm. like that. And hopefully on the back here, just by your bum. Mm -hmm. uh, the second exercise we're doing was for the shoulder. So that's the side of the arm here. So again, I was holding it for 10 seconds and then mm -hmm. going up. But if you're holding it for five seconds, that's really, really good. So yeah. again, you don't have to match what I'm doing. And then the third one is the stomach. So the stomach exercise, yeah. which is great. Is, is the this core. your core? You always hear people talking about your core. That's it. So you're That's engaging exactly. the core. But what you really want to know is you're working your abs or your stomach. Mm. Ray, we have one more workout. What is this one going to be about? This is going to finish off in a bit of a high, a bit of fun. So we're going to be a bit more high tempo. You will be a bit more shorter of breath. And then the last exercise, we're going to do a bit of a balance game, which is really effective, really mm. beneficial, but a little bit of fun as well. Music is very, very important when it comes to these routines, uh, Ray. We're giving you a choice. Would you oh, like lovely. to do it to this? Yeah, I like that. Moving fast. Or this okay. one. Has to be this one. I Has think to be like the second one. one. Has to be the second one. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, guys, we're going to finish off with a bit of fun. So channel your inner Gene Kelly, and we're going to do a bit of Charleston. So you can have a chair or a wall to balance, and what we're going to do is nice and slowly, right foot out, right foot in. Left foot back, left foot in. So I'm no dance teacher, but it's as simple as that. And we're just getting moving. So with a good bit of music, which we have, we're just going to get moving like that and have a bit of fun. So then, if you're feeling up to it, we can do a bit more. So just like that, a little bit of march. Jazz hands are optional again. Depends if you're singing in the rain or not. Like that. So again, all we're doing is just trying to lift that mood, get you smiling, and have a bit of a dance. Well done. Excellent, guys. Well done, well done. Nice. So again, we're working that lower body. Having a bit of fun. We're going to bring it back up now. But the next one we're going to do is a bit of swimming. So we're going to work the upper body. So we're standing tall. 
and going out like that, like a breaststroke. So again, you'll see my feet, they're still slightly moving, and we're just like that. And again, if you have any shoulder problems, just go that little bit lower, that's fine. Keep that chest out to the sky. Well done, guys. And we're just like that. So finishing off just in a bit of fun like that, just keep moving. Well done, well done, well done. What we're doing is keeping that heart rate high. Well done. Excellent. So from there, we're gonna go around, we're gonna try some balance exercises. So we're gonna turn around, nice bit of fun, nice and easy, so we can get our breath back. Again, using our balance, whether it's a wall or a chair next to us, and have one foot in front of the other like this. So just one foot like that, and we're balancing, and you can see, I feel quite fit, but it's still challenging to me. But it's really, really, really good like that. And again, you're gonna hold for about 10 seconds. Get yourself set, feeling safe again, and changing legs again. So out like that. This is great for your own stability and your own balance throughout the day. If you're ever feeling a bit wobbly or anything like that, it's a really good exercise to help strengthen up your posture. Whoop, there I had a wobble, see? Ooh, there you go again. And going to the opposite side. So you'll see one foot in front of the other, getting your balance here off a table or a chair, and you're just like that. It's a very underestimated one. It's easy peasy, but it's a bit of fun, so you can have a competition with the people you live with as well. And you're just like that, balancing. Well done. Standing nice and tall. You're trying to tense that those stomach, that core, like that. And last one again, changing legs, up like that. Well done. Easy peasy, guys. You can still see I'm wobbling a little bit, so you will wobble at home. Don't worry about that but it's a bit of fun, see how long you can last. I'm trying to go for about 10 seconds each side, but that's fine. If you're going five seconds or more, it's great. And like that, guys, easy peasy, and we're done. Excellent work, so we finished off on a nice high there. Well done, guys, great work today. Excellent stuff. Right, Ray, just a recap on all we've done today. Yes, so we started off nice and easy, defrosting the body or warming up the body, so a bit of fun like that, just getting the blood flowing and feeling a bit looser. Mm -hmm. The second one then we do it, we slowed it down, and we're trying to hit the muscles, so we're hitting the quads and the shoulders and the, and the stomach. Very important, right the core, there, good yeah. man, Dahi. Mm -hmm. And then the third one, we're finishing off in a bit of a high, so we're doing a bit of the Charleston, as you saw, mm -hmm. and just finishing off with a bit of fun and a bit of smile on our faces, which is very important. What is our top tip for today? Just get moving. Straightforward. Easy get peasy. Get moving. Ray, thank you very much. Thank you. If you have any questions for us, do email us, fitness15 at rte.ie. And remember to stay safe and healthy. From Ray and O'Shea, Slango Fold.